Hi guys, in this video I'm going to share with you the soil mix that I use for most of my palms and exotics that I plant into containers. Now the first thing to say is that I'm no expert, you know, there's no science behind this, this is just what I use and what's worked well for me over the years and what, you know, tips I've picked up from other growers as well. Secondly, um, I should say that, you know, each individual species probably needs a slightly different mix. What I'm going to share with you is my base mix. It's what I'd use uh, most of the time and I, I'd probably tweak it if a bit more drainage is required um, or something like that, depending on which species it is that I'm planting. So um, here we go. I think the spring is a fantastic time of the year, but what I hate about the spring is these buttercups that just spread across the lawn and they're, they're so low down that the, the lawnmower doesn't cut them. Um, and this year I think they've spread worse than ever before so I'm gonna make a real effort to, to get on top of it this year. I've already applied a weed and feed and I'm probably gonna apply another one in a couple of weeks. Most of my palms and exotic plants like to grow in a light aeraceous soil with good drainage. A rich soil is also desirable too. So my mix comprises of approximately, and these um, percentages I'm going to give you are by volume, not by weight. So by volume, it's approximately 40% garden compost, normally bought from a garden centre or B&Q, somewhere like that. 20% sharp sand, just from B&Q or somewhere. 20% well rotted horse manure, which I get from a bloke I know at my local allotment. And 20% perlite, um, which is a, a white, very light volcanic um, rock, um, which I buy in big bags from eBay or Amazon. I can't quite remember. I only buy it every few years and this bag will last um, for several years. I also um, sometimes apply fertilizer granules like bl blood fish and bone something like that um, which I mix in at this point as well. So this mix that I'm making is going to be ideal for a cordyline or a, a phoenix canariensis canary island date palm um, something like that. I always start with the compost first it being the biggest ingredient um, you'll notice that I don't measure anything, it's all approximate um, just by feeling and seeing how much goes in. It's, it's you know, <laughs> as I said, it's not at all scientific, but um, after every ingredient that I add, I do give it a little uh, mix and turn it over with the this little spade that I use. Make sure it mixes nicely together, I find it easier to do. Um, as you add each ingredient rather than just add it all in and mix it at the end. I don't think that mixes it as well. So this is the huge bag of perlite that I was talking about. Um, honestly, I probably bought it about four years ago. I can't even remember where I got it from. Last ingredient is going to be the manure. This sack cost me 50p which is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? It's the cheapest sort of, cheaper than compost by by, by far. So um, really good, rich stuff as well. So um, that's going in, plenty of that. This, of course, is just what I do. I'm really interested to hear what other people do. So please let me know if you do something similar, maybe you do something completely different. Let me know in the comments and also if you're watching this, just have a read of the comments as well because there might be other things, other advice that, that people leave. I'm a new YouTube channel and I'm creating videos to share my palm and exotic plant growing experience. If this is the kind of content that you're interested in, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.